do white things with a heart rate monitor. So, are you saying this is the first analog watch with heart rate monitor? Yes, we believe this is the first analog watch with a heart rate monitor. Um, what makes it exceptional is a 25-day battery life. So it's got a rechargeable battery that goes 25 days without uh, between charges. It's monitoring your heart rate every 10 minutes, although you can put it into activity mode where it's constantly monitoring your heart rate. Um, it also is monitoring the activities. So this dial here is measuring steps. But when you do an activity, it will automatically recognize up to 10 activities. Things like swimming, it is waterproof. Swimming, soccer, ping pong, running, walking, it'll automatically recognize. How does it recognize you playing football? It recognizes based on the uh, accelerometers that are inside the watch. And we've taught it different algorithms from the sport. And you have uh, one color or? There's two different colors in the 36 millimeter model. There's this one here, there's black and there's white. And then we have a 40 millimeter model here. Same functionality, but with a larger bezel. So on the outside, you have this sort of chronograph-like feature. And you have a beautiful display. What's going on here with this display? So right now, you see in demo mode, a heart rate. So this is 70 beats per minute. And in fact, I'm getting a call coming in on my phone here. It tells me my phone, I'm getting a call from a guy called Axel Meyer. <laughs> All right. That's happening live. That's awesome. Um, so it's, it has, it displays information yes it does it, uh, it messages text. yes it does uh, it does not give you the full text message but it does tell you who's texting you how who's much, calling you how much of the text can you get can you it just gives you the name of the person though it does not give you the details of the text maybe an update could have that potentially yes potentially yeah so there's it scrolls the now name. here's an example lunch with thomas and does it vibrate? It does vibrate, yes. In fact, that's what set me off when it started vibrating here. So have you had vibration before in Why Things Smartwatch? Uh, no, we've not. So the first time you do heart rate, vibration, display? Yes. Is it, do you still have a Swiss movement? Or is it not the Swiss This is not, a, this is no, not the Swiss movement. It's not like this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the Swiss made version, no. This is uh, it's French design. French design? Yes. Uh, French company? But French company acquired by Nokia in uh, May of 2016 and now formally part of Nokia, yes. Nice. How much it cost? This is 179 US dollars for this model and the 40 millimeter is 199 dollars. Which is great. Yeah, we I mean, think it's so. It's like a Swatch, basically. You but got better. a little bit more. You got a little <laughs> bit more going on. That's right. How reliable is the white things? Uh, the first generation have people very happy with the... Very happy, yes. Like, very popular, right? Very popular. If you look at our scores on uh, either the App Store, the Apple App Store, or the uh, Google Android App Store, four plus stars out of five. Are you, uh, more than a million downloads? More than a million users? Yes. It's millions. Millions. Millions of white things, smart, smartwatch users. That's right. And this is the newest one? Yes. Launched uh, how soon? It's today. It goes on sale today. So people can buy it right now? You can buy it right now. It's beautiful. Thank you very much. Very cool. And. Uh, does it, what's the software inside? The software, you mean the code? Yeah, is there something that can be updated in the way that it works? Or it's all based on the app. No, no, it's got, it, it, so there's an over air uh, through the app. So through the app that, um, so you've constantly got, uh, let me try not to Apple Pay. So here's the app, it goes along with it. Um, is that lots of new features compared to previously what you had? No, it's basically the same features, except when you connect to a steel HR, you get the heart rate data when you sleep, you get the activity data when you walk, so we've got an activity here. Uh, so I'm currently at 6,772 steps from the day, out of a target of 10,000. Is that more accurate than a phone tracker for the steps? or? I think it, it, it has to be, because inherently it's on your wrist the whole time. Sometimes you leave your phone on the, on the table, right? So yeah. I believe it is. But when um, you move your arm around, is that more accurate than... In no, I, I can't I comment mean, on that. Uh, so then you have the steps. Steps, uh, and then it gives you some time. Um, it also gives you, there's a phone call coming in from the boss, for example. Nice. Is there any chance that you can, um, uh, is there any chance you can configure what goes on in the display? It, it depends on what your smartphone. So just now I was getting a call from a guy called Axel Meyer. So it's just about contacts. And that's, yeah, so it comes out of your contacts. So in fact, I'm calling him back. Yeah. So whatever comes into your smartphone device will show up in a short text on the screen. You can't tap the, the watch to make a reply. No, no you cannot. You can touch the button to turn it off. Oh, what does it do, the button? The Stops button just vibrating? basically stops the vibrating. Or if you have the alarm feature in the morning, it turns the alarm off in the morning. Or when you're going to start working out, you hold down the button. This is the demo model, it won't do it. But then you go into constant activity testing as well, uh, tracking. So, so it's, it's 25 day battery for 25 every day. 10 minutes? 
But right. every 10 minutes we check your, your heart rate. Right? Yeah. Are you able to do a shorter battery life if you do constant monitoring? If you had it constantly monitoring, yes, your battery life would be reduced. Are you to constant monitoring the whole thing? No. Uh, no, let me rephrase that. Assuming you never turn it off, then theoretically it will be constantly monitoring all day, yes. Alright, and then, and then the battery will not be so long, huh? No, it will be shorter. I don't know the answer. Something shorter, alright. Would you simply recharge it? And you have two batteries in that one. One for the watch and the other one for the electronic I don't know the answer. Can I give you my car? You can. 